Hi guys, welcome back to another AliExpress nail art haul. I have got a ton, so I'm going to split this up in a couple of separate videos because I have two huge packs of like nail art uh, embellishments, rhinestones, all that jazz. But I've also got some nail gels, like carving gels, and I think I'm going to do a separate video of that so that people who don't like carving gels can just watch these and people who don't like rhinestones can watch the other ones. So it won't be like a big mix of all of it, but just do it like on a team or something like that <laughs> so i'm just going to dunk out this entire bag real quickly and just show you all the stuff that i got let's just start off with these two packs um this box also came in like this little envelope thingy but since i've already used these in my french manicure gel polish nail art tutorial i already got rid of the excess plastic like packaging but i got these two from the seller called fashion queen accessory i think it was like limited something after that name as well but this um, is a box of a couple of different sizes of like flat back rhinestones so you've got the completely opaque silver ones and completely opaque um, let me just show it like this so you can actually see the colors better this is like an old <laughs> gold kind of color and this set was two euro and fifty cents so there are a couple of different sizes in there and for the French uh, manicure tutorial I used a couple of the smaller ones but you can just check that out if you're curious to see what um, stones I used and what that nail art looks like but yeah that is that one then let me just take this out of the package real quick I have also got this set and this one was a little bit more expensive this one was two euro and 80 cents so it was like 30 cents more expensive but this is what the colors look like. So this is like a multicolored kind of like oil slick kind of idea. And these are um, rose gold. So let me just compare them to the gold. And you can actually see these are really, really like old metal -y kind of gold. And these are more of like a copper rose gold kind of shade. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. There is a decent amount in here. And once this set or like this container is completely empty, you could easily or easily reuse them for um, nail art stuff like bigger embellishments and metal studs and stuff like that. But yeah, I really like these. Um, again, as usual, if you want any direct links to any of the products I'm showing in my AliExpress hauls, do let me know in the comments down below so I can reply to you directly. I will just look them up for you and just um, reply to you personally as soon as possible. But let's continue with all the other stuff I have to share because it is a lot and I'm already talking for like three minutes already. So let's just quit the rambling and go on. From another seller which is called Lessical Official Store. I hope I pronounced this correctly but just ask me in the comments if you want to know the seller because this seller has a ton of cool and cute nail art stuff so first up i've got two packs each pack contains 50 pieces so i've got some black opaque little roses and as you can see they have a flat back so they are really easy to just adhere to the nails with some nail glue or maybe just put them in some gel or in wet top coat which works great as well and I've got some really pretty white ones too. These are a little bit of like an off-white kind of color, a little bit more creamy. I actually thought they would be as white as the base color I have on my nails. But as you can see here, they are a little bit more off-white. And I got these for just 80 cents a bag. So that is pretty pretty decent if you ask me they're not like super cheap but they aren't super expensive either and i really like the way they look i think i can make a ton of cute little nail arts with these especially combined with some of some of the rhinestones or like the bigger gems so yeah i can't wait to try these out so i just got the black and the white i've got six pots of chunky like mylar kind of glitters and there is a gold, a translucent like opal kind of shade, a really light purple, a bright yellow or like a greenish yellow, a bright pink and a soft blue color. And 
then I've got this set of six pots for just one euro forty five. Really, really inexpensive. They are filled pretty nicely, and yeah, I just have to clean up a little bit because I feel like the gold one spilled a tiny bit because there is some loose like glitter in the little pack. But I'm just going to do that all off camera. Then I also got this set and I saw them and they looked so nice and these were even less expensive than the six pack of the Mylar chunky glitter. Um, these are just tiny little seashells, some opalescent ones, light blue, like purple, light pink, um, some like darker based opalescent ones and these are just gorgeous. I really really love these and these were only 1 euro 31 super super inexpensive and let me just grab one to show you what they are like without the packaging that is what they look like they are so beautiful they are really thin as well so I think they will be great and just awesome to work into like acrylic or gel or just with regular nail polish as well. That is what they look like. They really are super thin and really, really pretty. I love them so much. I really love the shine as well. The pots are really, really filled and just for one little bit over a euro, that's a really, really good deal. And I can't wait to make like a mermaid inspired design with these. And then to finish it off, I got 12 different pots of like mixed gems and all that jazz so i'm just going to unwrap all of these and get them out of their regular packaging so you can just see the pots and i'm just going to open them and talk them through with you oh and these pots some were a euro and some were a euro and 11 cents but i don't know which ones were a little bit more expensive but they all came from the same um like article link to put it like that and you could just select the ones you want and yeah i'll be right back once i've um, taken these out of all of the plastic packaging oh and by the way if you hear like some weird background noises it is really bad weather at the moment here in the netherlands it's like the 29th of august while i'm recording this and it is my brother's 30th birthday by the way um but the weather is really really bad and it is raining and the wind is just blowing on my window so if you hear like raindrops and stuff like that or just a little bit like tapping it is just the rain <laughs> there's like no weird stuff going on around here it's just bad weather there we go i have gotten all of them out of their little packages and let me just scoop them around a little bit so all the colors are together okay there we go so it are 12 pots in total so i've got three pinky mixed one uh once i've got three like white opalescent ones i've got three light blue ones and three greenish like a light emerald kind of shade so these were all like a euro to one euro and 11 cents or like 10 cents i'm not sure anymore but i'm just going to open them one by one and show you what's inside and yeah as you can see there kind of is like a rhythm in here because the top row all has like square kind of shaped uh gems or well if i Put it like that then the second ones um all have teardrops and the third ones are like more of the smaller um brick kind of shaped ones and just the whole shebang but i'm just going to show you all these one by one because i really love making videos like these and i also really love um watching other youtubers their stash videos or like whole videos like this and i just oh i just love these little mixed pots they just really really make me happy it's like i'm a little kid in a candy store when it comes to all of these little gems let me just grab um a dotting tool or something so i can scoop around in them a little bit and let's turn this one around so these are all beautiful opalescent gems there are three or three really big ones 
and they all have like the pointy back so they are a little bit hard to um, adhere them to the nail with just regular nail polish so I would really suggest just using a gel top coat or something like that to stick them down but there are some metallic like caviar beads or like micro beads in here um, some tiny little pearls some opalescent kind of um, rhinestones as well and some other gold colored metallic embellishments then the second one has the teardrops as well as some um, oval shaped ones and I think these are all pink yeah but just look at that they are so beautiful and I really love them combined with the gold here are some um, there are some pearls in here as well as well as some different shapes of like gold embellishments and studs and in the meantime when you get these and you're like really really hyped because you got them in just like i was do make sure that when you open one screw the cap back on asap because if you're a little bit clumsy like me these will be flying all over the place and that's just a disaster i've had that with a couple of my other mixed um gem pots and oh lordy i am still finding gems and micro beads all in my couch like downstairs in my living room <laughs> so if you are a little bit more on the clumsy side like i am make sure to screw the caps on tightly and perfectly so this is the um final one or like the version so there are some circular um gems in here some really pretty ones but i can turn them and these are like the brick shaped kind of gems again some opalescent gems like translucent ones micro beads and yeah i don't think there are any like other gold shaped or gold colored in different shaped gems but or embellishments but just gold micro beads then let's take a look at the white opalescent ones again really pretty some cool gold shapes in there as well these gems are just gorgeous they really are big just look at that but i kind of have big nails or like long nails so i am able to fit them on here but if you have a client or you have like um, smaller nails yourself it might be a little bit too big to put on your nail but hey <laughs> i don't mind a big gem on a tiny nail either these are the teardrop shaped ones with again a good variety of gold metal um, studs and shapes and embellishments and all and this is the pod with the more tiny um, gems i really like that these have like a ton of translucent gems in there as well i think they are really really beautifully um like beautifully looking when you combine them together then the blue row let me just flip them so you can actually see the color that is what these look like so these have the clear gems as well and also some really pretty like other embellishments in here i really love the shape of this one if it wants to turn around so i can actually show you that is such a beautiful like elongated oval shape really really pretty then the next one is this one again with the teardrops in there and some oval ones this blue shade is like a periwinkle kind of blue in my opinion I really really love it and I think this will be beautiful to use in like spring season and I just really love my pastels in spring but it might be really pretty with like an icy blue kind of winter tutorial as well and then the last one with all the tiny ones I'm just going to keep this one closed because you can actually see through the cap pretty decently and I don't want to spill anything because I'm such a clones <laughs> then the green one again with the bigger stones and all of these i do notice have different kind of gold 
embellishments in there so that is pretty cool so i don't have a ton of the same kind of embellishments but again some pearls translucent stones um micro beads or caviar beads however you want to call them that's the same thing yeah i really like there even are some triangular shapes in there i don't see those very often so that is really cool these are the teardrop shapes really beautiful i really like that there actually are some teardrop shaped like gems in there so you can kind of inlay them in those really nice and even if you don't have like these um metal little frames you could also just kind of inlay them with those micro beads to give it like a full on cameo kind of effect so this is the final one with all of these smaller gems and micro beads and that is what that looks like really really beautiful this color oh man don't even get me started i think this is such a beautiful like light emerald green shade so stunning i really really love them but yeah this was actually the entire haul already like the first part there will be two more videos after this one but i might not upload them all in the same week i might just do one um, every week or something like that to not give it like an aliexpress overload on my channel because i still really have like a ton of new art tutorials as well to share with you but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this do let me know in the comments down below if you want to know any direct links or anything like that thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video